morning family you all know i usually come to y'all when we're getting ready to go to bed lay our heads down on our pillows and just let our carries just or not carries but our worries just be carried away by nonsense uh sleepiness i guess you would say but i'm coming to you in the wee hour but it ain't the wee hours it's the middle of the morning where i was up at least by eight or nine trying to cook and breakfast and stuff and now i'm back sleeping and it ain't nothing but 11 39 a.m eastern standard time here in atlanta georgia where it is definitely getting hot 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 <coughs> And that's why they call us Hot Atlanta, I guess. But we still moving and grooving and shaking and doing all that baking and all this stuff. And I just thought I'd drop out a video or a couple of videos before we see the last ending of Season 12 Reunion Part 3. Which we all know Andy Cohen and Bravo Entertainment just drags that shit out. We don't really need three and four parts to a, a reunion of a show or a season that was half lackluster anyway. Okay. And of course, they weren't giving us nothing but uh, fake foolery, fraudulently uh, fuckery, shitty activity of a reality show for season 12. It was just all bogus. Can I say any more? Yes, I, I'll say it again. It was all bogus. But we muddled through it just like we usually do other videos and, and reality shows that they give us that we like to partake of here and there. But yes, as I was streaming through or looking at my phone, an interesting story came across my feed. And it was talking about bringing Cherie. Y'all remember Sheree? Sometimes we call her Sheree. Sometimes we call her Sheree. Just depending on how we looking at her name at the time. Child. They supposed to be asking her to come back. Come back where you belong. To the Housewives of Atlanta. Don't know if she coming back as a friend or a foe. Or I don't know a side chick. Who knows. But if they asking who going to check me boo. <laughs> to come back. And the infamous person on giving, uh, what do you call it? Not showcases, but uh, fashion shows with no fashions. And my Dwight voice, uh, how horrendous. <laughs> he was saying that one page was on the show too. But then she came up with her joggers. And I'm like, and we have yet to see them joggers come to fruition either. But if anything, charade. She ain't to be messed with. Because she will be ready to put them hands on you. Just like Portia Williams. Quick, fast, in a hurry. You see how she tugged that. Um, Kim Zosiette wig. When her and Nene and Kim Zosiette was some, at some restaurant. And it went left. And Kim was trying to leave. And Sheree was like. You ain't going to be walking away from me. And she grabbed that wig of hers. I thought I would fall out laughing. Though I don't condone any type of abuse. Whether it's uh, physical or verbally mentally done to you it was quite funny <laughs> what she was tugging on oh kim's wig child but i like kim too because she don't she don't care she tells she a wig queen honey she wear wigs extensions all that to make her beautiful she don't care she'll tell you up <laughs> excuse me up front them are not her tresses not all of them anyway when she want that full look she do wear a nice wig and she don't ha she has several of them but let me try to find that article that Reality T was shading the Shitsville out of the, really the cast uh, as well as NeNe Leakes and Sheree. Girl, she done took the dryer. She done did what? Took the hair dryer. And did what with it? <laughs> oh Lord, I tell you. I don't know. I don't know. My daughter's trying to tell me something about my mama taking stuff. Because we're switching out trying to throw away excess stuff in the house. It's just creating junky looks and stuff. So we're trying to work that out. So most people enjoying their time. Hanging out with family and friends. Doing that cookout look. Hopefully it's less than 20 people they're congregating with. And hopefully they're not all there at the same time. Or they are in a big ass backyard. And people are doing that safe distancing. That social distancing with six feet apart. Okay. But if they're not. It just is what it is. Everybody got to face their 
um judgment when it comes to the end but i'm saying if you out there sitting up there throwing caution to the wind making like it ain't nothing happening ain't nobody died of no corona ain't no covid virus 19 out there then when it comes to you getting sick in that hospital and they say should that person have that ventilator or that respiratory treatment to keep them alive i'm gonna look at them like where's the next one <laughs> <laughs> that's what i be where is the next one because they didn't have no train of thought no loyalty on taking care of themselves and their beloved ones when they was out there throwing caution to the wind having all these parties congregating like ain't nothing happened to us in the last four months child please but let's get on into this story we won't tear it too long okay because i just thought you know i usually read the stories with you all and we just dive in it together and make our little opinions but i had to read this one from the beginning to the end because i like lord have mercy the person <laughs> the article of the title was just a staff writer it just says by reality t now like, is reality t the sp spin off from bravo vlogging site or something because they are shading the hell out of sheree or sheree and nene leaks and the rest of the cast members but i have to, got to read it be your narrator for this particular article and you can see if i'm talking the same talk as i'm reading my walk okay but anyway the article title is uh called sheree or Sheree Whitfield says Nene Leakes won't walk away from Real Housewives because she needs that check. Now, honey, that's the truth. I concur totally fully. Ain't nobody going to be seen on no kind of ratchet TV program demeaning them, making them look dehumanizing, and they dehumanizing every other person that come to them in their way trying to check them. They ain't going to be doing this unless they want to. They want that fame. They want that fortune. So the offspin of it, you got to act a fool. You got to comb for your money. Okay, it's just is what it is. Moving on, it says pretty much no one leads a successful reality show. Sure, it happens, but it's just not the case with anyone who's a real housewife. Say it like it is. Say it like you mean it. They talking the truth thus far. That's my sidebar. You know how to put it in now. Then it goes back and says, as per usual, Nene Leakes is whining about how difficult it is for her to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, issuing empty threats about how she might consider leaving. Girl, we all know that this show is the backbone for any side project that you may have going on. Let's be honest. Nene needs this show just as much as she needs it herself. Okay, and I'm like, yeah, girl. One cannot do without the other. One cannot do without the other. But they can do without you, Nene. They just need somebody to replace you. Have the same antics, if not better, to keep this show moving. Because it's just a ratchet TV programming part of life that we congregate to here and there. When we want our key keys and our key, key cats. Okay? Just see what it is. They can find another you. You ain't that irreplaceable. Honey, it's plenty of yous out there. Now, this is my sidebar. Not in this article. Going back to the article, it says, um, despite her temper, tantrums, and reunion walkouts, Nene is not quitting this show. Amen. Say it to the above. Say it to the people in the back that can't hear right. Okay. Say it to the masses out there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Nene ain't leaving that now. Bit of this show unless they throw her out. Same as Candy Burris. Same as... Who else threatened to leave? No, I, I think them the two crazy ones. They're talking about they, they'll leave the show. They ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere. Because they other side hustles that they got. Um, they wouldn't last. They wouldn't last without the backbone. Like this um, person said throughout her article. They need the show. Okay. But anyway. Going back to the article. Uh, it says, despite her temper tantrums and reunion walkouts, Nene is not quitting this show. There's just no way. No matter how unfair she feels she's being treated, Nene isn't leaving. She did that once when she thought she was going to become a big Hollywood actress. And we all know how that worked out. Or at least that is how her frenemy, Sheree Whitfield, feels. Now, I'm like, I'm right up there. Which God did several videos in the past about Nene going to try to go out there and think she can do this thing. Because she was really hot at the time. And people were wanting her to come in and make a fool out of her by showing all her antics, her getaways, and all this quick fashion of hers with the snapping of her fingers and 
the circlings and all of that kind of stuff. I'm like, you know, girl, using all the gay people moves pretty much is what she was doing. She wasn't standing in her own shit, okay? I'm like, move and shake, Nene, but don't don't overdo it, baby. Don't overdo it, all right? You ain't gay. You ain't lesbian, so don't try to take all their moves to just improve your persona or your brand or whatever. And then don't try to pay homage to them that gave it to you. Okay, like Sheree said, who gonna check me, boo? <laughs> okay, she came up that with her own, all right? Woo! She was just in the heat of the moment, and it came out. But anyway, that was my sidebar. Not in the article. It said during a recent interview with Hollywood Life, Cherie said she would never say never when she discussed a potential return to the show. But that's what's what every housewife says or every ex-housewife says. Yeah, because Phaedra Paul said the same thing too. Um, going back to the article, it said, We all know Sheree would return in a heartbeat. Leaving Real Housewives of Atlanta was not Sheree's call. We know it. She was fired. She was not, she would not admit to this, but we all know it. Sheree also claims that her breaks from the show were necessary, as if they were her own decisions. Sheree, we all see right through you. This, I'm telling this uh, article, this journalist writing her article, she's shaking the shit out of Nene and Sheree. But I'm here for it. I'm here for it, okay? I have no qualms about it, and I totally agree. Going back to the article, it says Sheree addresses the possibility of filming with Nene, someone she's never got along with for more than three minutes, she said. I'm not nervous or scared to film with her, of course. She's not. Nene and Sheree is in the same scene as reality TV gold. Despite the discomfort that might be there, both of them would benefit from being on TV together. That's right. But too much people, you know... The whole crew that we have now in the Real Housewives of Atlanta, they just said Nene went on an apology tour. So if she gets Sheree to come back in, she gets Phaedra to come back in. She got her alliance herself to go against Candy, Kenya, and Eva. I ain't going to put Cynthia in there because I like Cynthia. We don't have Cynthia for I don't know how many seasons. And maybe she is bowing out gracefully. Maybe the writing's on the wall for her as well. This is my sidebar, not in this latest article. Maybe they don't tell Cynthia, you don't ran your course. You ran it well. You were very classy from the beginning to the end. And I can't concur. Okay. Um, Cynthia failed at being a bone collector. Candace doing miserably at it. So we need somebody with a little more class. Yes, honey, bring uh, Sheree with Phil back as a friend or whatever. But we don't want her to congregate with Kim. Because we know she don't have no problem with filming with anybody. Never have had a problem. She's filmed with Kim, Zosiac real well. She's filmed with Desha uh, Deshaun Snow as well as uh, Kim. Not Kim. What's her name? What's her name, Sean? Lisa. Lisa Wu. And we know she definitely filmed with Nene. She films with Candy real well. So she, she's another Cynthia. So Cynthia must go and we must have Sheree. Okay, fine. Sheree is a little bit extra because, like I said, we ain't saw none of her collections of apparel she's supposed to be giving us. We ain't seen them joggers spring, summer, fall, winter. <laughs> Whenever she feel like what season she want to show them to us. But I think she like three years short and a dollar too late okay we gotta move on with something with Sheree so maybe Sheree got some other stuff going on god damn sure don't want to hear about her mama being missed I'm glad she bad but don't want that storyline to come to fruition don't want to hear about her children don't want to hear about her son going to college because she's supposed to be like a little model or something I don't know what happened with that but she, he was trying to hook up with Cynthia Baylor and I ain't heard nothing from her luggage wear eyewear or modeling agency so i, I don't know she talking about she moving to uh california or la to be with my what's she gonna do with all these businesses you know she got the wine gallery you know mallory she got to be watched she can't come mallory take everything off she'll be like uh over there in italy they they go for so long they work about four hours and they shut down shop for the day <laughs> you know so Cynthia will be in the red. That's just like having Peter at the hand while she going away. Nah, we don't need Mallory doing too much or anything. Get some real people up there, Cynthia. Stop employing your family members, okay? Just put them out on the side and give them money here and there. But Mallory can do something else. Good Lord. Same thing with Portia's sister. 
stop trying to make think that uh, Bob gonna bring Lauren into the uh, fold. They gonna bring Lauren in. She better go to Hip Hop Atlanta somewhere. They barely want you there, Portia, okay? So why are you trying to film with your sister here and there thinking they gonna throw her a bone? They ain't interested in Lauren, okay, baby? But going back to the article, because we can go way down another whole side road that we don't need to stay in and we don't need to travel down. Because like I said, I wanted to make this quick, fast, and hurry. I just thought it was an interesting article. But anyway, we're going back to the article. It says, Sheree, address the possibility of family with Nene. Of course, we did that. Um, Sheree also commented, I don't think she's going to walk away. She needs that check. Damn right, Sheree. We all see that well, except for Nene, who seems a bit out of touch with reality. As far as the other current cast members, Sheree seems to be cool with them. She said, I have a good time with Candy Burris, Sheree added. Kim Moore and I are in good place right now. Thank God. This is my sidebar. I'm, hopefully, y'all not still fussing about them houses. Chateau and Manor. It doesn't really matter because now we hear Kenya Moore allegedly. Her house is in foreclosure. Ain't got mold on it. Check out the ATL in uh, Michelle Brown. Go on over there, honey. Go on over there. She got all the tea, child. The foreclosure, the drone taking, the uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta photos of their homes. I that good stuff she got it over there go ahead go ahead girl uh but anyway uh, she's good at taping women so i'm sure i have a good time with kenya and that is something i would love to see on the show the last time we saw kenya and sheree together they were battling it out on behalf of more manor and chateau sheree you remember i just said that in my own little way but then going back to the article it says sheree says cynthia bailey is always good fun yeah she can uh definitely film with her Marlo Hampton's fun. She she definitely could film with her. Sheree concluded, I haven't really kept up with Portia Williams, but I have kept up with the other girls. That's not a shock since Portia is, you know, pretty much saying up Nene's behind. Uh, and she's also, again, friends with Nene. So that was basically all of the article and what they were saying but they do ask a question saying tell us does nene needs the real housewives of atlanta paycheck do you think nene will ever quit real housewives of atlanta and do you want sheree to return and i will have to say no honey nene uh she needs that shit hold on Okay, first of all, to answer that first one, I do believe Nene needs, needs that Bravo uh, check. She ain't going nowhere. That's the only stability of an income she has, okay? The rest of the stuff, opportunities have definitely dried up or it was a one-hit uh, appearance that she was making on the show. Just trying to keep other people's outlets, such as Wendy Williams, The View, The Real, when they have them come on the show or they have Nene come on their show. They're just looking for dirt, pretty much, and the inside intel. She willing to spill it on what's coming up with upcoming episodes of season 12, 13, 14, how long she may be on the show. And they're just trying to keep their um uh, lines of entertainment gossip alive by having people like nene and other reality stars come on their show and talk about their programming and this that and the third so yes nene needs bravo bravo holds a lot of weight it lets her do interviews on all these other entertainment gossip um uh, columns uh shows such as et entertainment tonight and like the other ones i just said the real the view uh tamara hall show wendy williams it gives her a bigger outlet so hell no nah, nene ain't letting this shit go can ain't either okay they just say it, what it is they'll never admit t to it and i'm with reality tv they would never admit to it but they know where their their uh butter is bread or where their bread is butter they know where the cream of the little cream is and it's just staying on this show because it brought them the digs that they are loving like their homes their cars uh padding their not padding but putting money into their savings accounts and all the sending their children to luxurious uh prominent schools uh opening up 
doors for them that probably would definitely be closed to them because they'll be fighting along with the other masses of individuals that are trying to get their degrees and, and seek opportunities in the entertainment field and they have to make it on their own but when you have a uh, in person that's very fluential and know a lot of people of course they're going to open up that door for your siblings or your uh family members it's, it's just the way of the world okay it's who you know not what you know half the time uh then the other question was asked do you think nene would ever quit real housewives of Atlanta? hell no nah. she ain't giving up that check and she ain't quitting on her own accordances uh recognizes no she's not okay um do you want sheree to return sure i'd rather have sheree as the bone collector than candy any day because candy don't hold it she don't hold it down sheree sheree she be over there filming with everybody and getting a tea on everybody and just dropping you know little nuggets here and there okay so she does a hell of a job better than candy when it comes to bone collecting and, and gathering information and disseminating it against the masses on the show uh because other than that i don't know what candy give us other than just being a waste of time on the show pretty much a waste of time along with evil and like i said cynthia is more the neutral uh piece of uh energy that's there that we can get with or we don't have to get with but she's like that's all she's ever done was being neutral and being able to film with everybody so if we get sheree we definitely don't need cynthia there okay because cynthia was horrible at being a bone collector as well and then when she trying to talk about people you know she didn't really want to say what she said until she got pushed up against the wall then she had to admit to everything and we don't need people like that okay so i'm gonna say to go on basically live her own life and if it needs to be go and start your own show that's what you and mikey was supposed to have done now we're almost in the middle of the year and we still have yet to come see this show that y'all supposed to be taking part of i mean come on now does he have a book out is the book doing well mike's uh open mic or something like that it was i don't know what it was but cynthia you know it is what it is seems like you're, you're you're doing too much with the man instead of staying status quo you know doing what you got to do but holding on to your own assets but like i said i heard you were selling lady bailey you call yourself and you said that you moving up to la to spend a lot more time with your fiance and your other daughters okay your biological daughter and your adopted daughters girl i'm like i don't, I don't know i don't know you're giving too much too fast but you ain't give it to peter like that so i don't know i don't know mike may have his own millions zillions or whatever and peter he, he just know a lot of people okay and you just have to front him money but uh seem it seems the same to me a user is always a user because he might use you cynthia for all your ties of who you know and all this and then he still may end up you being the third ex-wife okay because he don't been married twice so i guess you can get fired and be brought back okay because that's the scene like they're addressing uh or they're entertaining the thoughts of romancing uh meaning bravo is trying to acquire charade services again even though she may come in like they brought kenya back in at five hundred thousand. i know a lot of twirls don't want to believe that but kenya did not come back in no million dollar status she had to work that shit back up so she's been doing a damn good job uh playing the villain and the victim now charade didn't make her five hundred thousand i'm like charade they gave you a hundred thousand come on back baby <laughs> money some money is better than no money and it seems like you need that money okay no shame no pun intended but if you can get on the, if you don't mind getting on tv acting a damn fool showing your ass and this that and the third and creating much fake foolery fuckery fraudulent shitty activity with your demeanor then girl there you go boom you don't need no type of education you don't need to be uh well rounded. You don't need to know none of that. Just come up there and act a fool. They'll pay you, baby. If that's your claim to fame, that's how you get down and want your money. It's damn sure easy money. But I don't know about the consequences that it will give you afterwards when they done uh used you all up. I don't know. I don't know what that road that's a toll a hard toll road women. That's a hard road to toll. How my uh older seasoned folks used to say this older than such as myself. That's in their eighties and stuff. Whole what is that? A whole a 
a hard road to toe. And I understand. I didn't understand it then. Back in the day when I was in my teens and 20s. <laughs> but damn. So I recognize it. Understand it. And write a few more chords to that hard road to toe song or adage that they give us. But that's all I got my friends, my family. And I will see y'all next video. Peace.